Hey guys, welcome back to The Dozens. Games People Play is the newest basketball drama on BET. It follows two line sisters, Vanessa, a former law student who is married to one of the most popular basketball players in the country, and Nia, an investigative journalist as they get to the bottom of a murder that is hanging over their heads. This is a juicy drama starring some familiar faces like Lauren London, Parker McKenna, Jackie Long, and everyone's best friend, Kendall Kendall. Luckily for us, there will be a season two. So here's our list of 12 things we need to see in season two of Games People Play. But before we continue, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to The Dozens for more awesome content. Number 12, will Layla's career take off? In season one, Layla was a struggling actress who out of desperation took a couple gigs as an escort, which got her mixed up with some pretty bad people. At one point, her agent tells her that in order to boost her chances of getting hired, she should try to grow her social media following. She does just that when she capitalizes on her time with Marcus King by leaking partial nudes and stringing all of LA along by withholding the identity. This caused her to become one of the most popular social media personalities in the city. We never really see her fully take advantage of her newfound fame. Hopefully, we see her achieving some of her dreams in the new season. Number 11. How severe is King's injury? We last see Marcus King nursing a minor but impactful injury. He tried his best to hide it from his team, but it seriously affected his game. He ended up taking some time off. Will we see him fully healed and ready to go next season, or will he be healing on the bench? Also, we never got to the bottom of where this injury came from. Right before we see him hurt, he did get into an argument with Kareem that ended with them getting physical and Marcus on the floor. Will these two ever explore this altercation? Will Marcus blame Kareem for almost taking him out of the game? Number 10. Will Vanessa return to law? Vanessa struggled this season to define herself outside of her marriage. She really wanted something of her own. As we saw when she was really excited with the opportunity to become a partner at the winery with the other players' wives. She's also really proud of her time in law school and is reminded of this when she runs into her old friend Bryce and at various points of the season when she flexes her skills. Outside of all this anticipated drama, we hope to see Vanessa reignite her passion for the law by incorporating it into her life somehow. Number nine. Are Vanessa and Layla heading towards friendship? This one may not happen, but it would be interesting to see. Layla was Marcus's mistress and Vanessa is his wife. They unwillingly came together this season due to a connection to a murder. They were able to put their differences aside to solve the crime. Since Marcus has now redevoted himself to his wife and Layla is remorseful of her actions, maybe they'll be able to hash it out and actually be friends. Since they're both friends with Nia, it would be great to see these duos become a threesome. Number eight, is that the last we'll hear from Terrence? Terrence is Nia's old friend that still has a thing for her. They met when Nia was in college and he arrested her at a protest. He regretted his actions, bailed her out, and dropped her back off at school. Apparently, their brief time together was enough for her to make an impression. When Nia moves to LA, she called in a favor from him, which involved him essentially jeopardizing his career to help Vanessa, which he gladly agrees to just to get closer to Nia. In the end, he gets the short end of the stick with work, as he nearly got fired for interfering with an ongoing investigation. All that, he still doesn't end up with Nia. However, something tells us that he doesn't give up that easily, and we haven't seen the last of him. Number seven, more MJ. We're just hoping to see more of our best friend next season. MJ is Nia's assistant and is played by Kendall Kendall. If you don't know him from acting, then you definitely know him from his very big Instagram personality. MJ brought a lot of comedic relief to this show. He was also Nia's partner in crime and held her down at every turn. We need to see more of him next season and hopefully a little bit more about his character. Number six, what's really going on with Madunu? When Layla and her friend Susie break the house rules while on their escort job, the customers were not happy. We see them tracking her and her friends angrily for a couple episodes until Susie ends up dead. Then out of the blue, Madunu, an associate of said customers, shows up feeling guilty and volunteers to protect Layla. We aren't sure about you, but we're not buying it. Our inquiring minds want to know what he's really up to. Number five, will Nia and Eric experience any more relationship issues? Nia and Eric's relationship was a bit strained this season. Between the long distance, Eric's doubts about her career and her friendship with Terrence, Eric almost lost her. At the end of the season, they decide to commit to try and make things work. Next season will bring more drama that might challenge their relationship. Whatever happens, we hope to see them make it through. Number four, will Vanessa be the new Queen Bee? 
Jackie was the leader of the player's wives. She took her leadership role too far as she attempted to control certain aspects of other players' lives. She secretly ran an escort service which she used to blackmail other players. At one point, her anger gets the best of her and she ends up killing one of her escorts and tries to pin it on Vanessa. Well, that didn't work out for her and she ends up getting arrested. Now that she's out of the picture, there's a void that Vanessa could potentially fill. She did become friends with them and they were a huge resource for her when she seemed to be going through rough times. As things settle into place, will she settle into the role that Jackie left behind? Number three, will Nia get into it with Reverend Hawthorne? When we first meet Nia, she had just published an expose on the extreme sexual habits of megachurch reverend Jebediah Hawthorne, a pastor known for condemning homosexualities and other behavior he deemed to be deviant. As a result of the expose, he enrolled into a rehab program. When he got out, he slid right back into his role as if nothing ever happened. Although he was relatively unscathed, he still vowed revenge on the people who exposed him. At the end of the season, he seemed to constantly be hinting during his televised sermons that he knows who exposed him, where they are, and in so many words that he was coming for them. I hope Nia is ready to rumble next season. Number two, is Kareem gone for good? Kareem is Marcus's best friend. He helped Marcus get the shot that led him to the NBA when they were in college. Kareem was actually a better player, but was injured by an angry hustler who lost money when Kareem failed to lose a game. In the first season, their friendship becomes strained as Marcus is focused on his problems and Kareem becomes envious of the life he could have had. Kareem's envy is fed by his mom and girlfriend both telling him that he was meant to be more than Marcus's servant and that he was actually the better player. Through his frustration, he seemed to have Marcus's back but ultimately quits at the end of the season. Hopefully he returns and they can hash out their differences. N Number one, whose baby is Vanessa Carey? Marcus has a reputation for cheating on his wife. As much as he says he loves her, he fails to back it up with action. It gets in the way of their relationship and even made it possible to frame her for murder. When Vanessa starts to get the attention she yearns from an old friend, she has an affair. Although we only see Vanessa and Bryce hook up one time, after which she takes a plan B, the question of paternity from both of them leads us to wonder if it was an ongoing affair and who the father is. Next season is going to be crazy. So there you have it, the 12 things we need to see in season two of Games People Play. Do you agree with our picks? Is there something we should add? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the bell button for a notification on our newest videos.